I don't know why I always pick the hottest day in the world to do a review like this, but today, whoo, 95 degrees here in the mountains of North Carolina. But when we woke up this morning, my wife Lynn said, I sure wish you would help me get my inflatable paddleboard from boat. We've had that thing for like eight or nine years. I wish you'd get it inflated and help me get it down to the dock. Well, that's not as easily accomplished as you would think because we have a ton of steps to carry it down. But then I remembered Outdoor Masters sent us this wireless shark inflator that you charge up and then you can take it wherever you want to and inflate your whatever you want to do, a raft, a kayak, and in our case, a boat inflatable. So let's get this unboxed and get it charging here so I can use it to do this chore that Lynn wants me to do today. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. This looks interesting. It is a universal um, hose to connect up to different things. Now the one I need is, I think that one right there. That's kind of cool. You can use it to do just about anything from beach balls to, well, anything you can screw into. That's really cool. So we got that. Let's set that over here out of the way. And then we have a car adapter, a DC adapter. Don't think I'm gonna use that today. Set that out of the way. <laughs> we have a, a USB-C cable. We have the electric air pump manual. I imagine I will <laughs> use this today. Let's set this over here. So now let's take this out of the box. And what do we have? Wow. Here are the connectors. We have a type C input. I could use that to charge it. We also have a DC input and I could use that to uh, connect up to either a solar battery that we have or to one of the DC uh, old timey cigarette plugs here. And that would work. And we have the port for inflating and deflating whatever you happen to be pumping up or putting up. And we didn't used to do this, but using deflate on our latest boat Zeppelin uh, tandem kayak, it really makes a difference. Well, believe it or not, this thing came 100% charged. You can turn it on, press this button, and whatever that number is, it'll auto inflate. <laughs> to that level. We're ready to go uh, see if it'll work on the paddleboard. Okay, my next task is to carry this down to our dock. And if you don't know and you haven't seen our home, then that's quite a ways down there. That's one of the reasons this is convenient because normally what I would do is inflate this up here at the house and then carry it down to the dock. It's a little bit awkward because the bigger it is, the harder it is to carry it down there. But if I can carry it like this, well, that's a lot easier. And that's what I'm gonna do. And another reason you may wanna use one of these instead of the ones that connect up to the 12 volt outlets like we have, well, the first time we saw it being used is when our friends Rocky and Sue were inflating their inflatable kayak, they just carried it down to the water's edge, carried the battery operated pump down there, pumped it up, put everything back up and they were off. It didn't take any time and it was super convenient. So having one of these, well, I think the biggest thing they provide is convenience. Another thing it provides is it's extremely lightweight and you don't have to have a power source wherever you use this. And for me today, that's gonna be a really big deal because I can carry the pump and the paddle board and the paddle down to the water. So our dock is a Corps of Engineers dock, which means we can't have an electrical outlet down here without a special permit and without an expensive change to the dock. So this is a really neat way for me to be able to inflate things here, but not have to have a power source. So next step, let's see if this is actually going to work.
Well, that didn't take that long, maybe 12 minutes, but I'll put the exact amount of time right here by checking the timestamps. Now this Boat HD Aero, which is really their word for an inflatable stand-up paddleboard, it's one of my wife Lynn's favorite things to use, and I'm betting tonight's going to be a fun time for her. Let's disconnect the Outdoor Master Shark 2S, and let's see how much battery's left, and also make sure I didn't leave the valve in the wrong position and all the air comes flying out whenever I open this up. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've left that valve in the wrong position and then all the air you put in comes rushing out. But now, okay, so how much battery is left? Do we still have about 75% of the battery left? That's about accurate because the company states that with just one charge, you can uh, pump up four stand up paddle boards just like this. I took a few minutes and put the shade up because, well, like I told you, it is hot here. So what do I think of the Outdoor Master Shark 2S? Well, I think you can see it did what it's supposed to do. It wasn't difficult to carry down here. It's extremely lightweight. It has a great display. You can charge it with USB-C, and I don't know about your family, but for us, we try to standardize on everything we use charging and connecting with USB-C because it just makes everything more simple when we're on the road. And speaking of charging, it doubles as a USB-C charging port, which means when we're out, we can charge our cameras or our phones or anything else with this. And there's plenty of battery to do that. So it works really well, but if it's super expensive, it's going to be something that we're not going to want to keep around and we wouldn't recommend to you. But the truth is, the amount of money you have to spend to get this it's not much more or even as much as some of the other pumps that are listed out here on Amazon or other places another thing it has that I really like is active cooling this thing was never hot to touch it never shut off because it was overheating and if it's not going to overheat on a day that out here in the Sun it's probably hundred and three today it's 90 here in the shade I don't think it's going to overheat so I think that's a great thing too <laughs> And all these extra connectors, well, that's just a plus. Because right now, our paddleboard inflator is just that. It inflates our paddleboards, and we don't have any other connectors. This could do a tent. It could do a sleeping pad. It could do a beach ball for our grandchildren. It can do just about anything that fits one of these standard connectors. Well, can you tell that I really like this? It served a purpose for me today, and I love getting things that serve a purpose. And I love companies that want to partner with our channel that have great things that we can honestly recommend. And this is one of those things. The price point for this is so close to one that doesn't have all these capabilities that it's a no-brainer. Right now it's $149 on Amazon and I'll keep the price and any discount codes they provide for us in the description below. Things like this pump that do exactly what they say they're going to do, that are innovative, that are fairly priced, that fit into our lifestyle, was these kind of things that help us to be able to enjoy and get out there and make the most of our van trekking lifestyle. If you have any questions about this pump or anything else that we use out here on the water, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And speaking of water, it's time to take this out and enjoy it. Thanks for being part of our journey.